Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Starfield. I'm your host, Carlos Fade. It's episode 14. We're in space. We have this mission back to Vectera. And we need to travel to Andrathon. And we need to go get our buddy. We recruited Lynn as a crew member. So, that's where we're at. And right here in space, this planet has aluminum and nickel. Vectetta. Reminds me. Need to take a look at where my systems are that have outposts in them. This is the location where we want to go. Crash ship. have our star eagle. It's very fun. Who's this person? Thank you. Get the hell. You're a tough one to track down. One and all of the settled systems with a bounty to match. <laughs> I don't know who you think I am, but you're about to find out. Genius having this conversation in the middle of an asteroid field. Uh, well, you can fit way more than 2,000 credits in an Ashta, moron. Yeah. Wait a minute. Plank my way off of this stuff. Let's find these guys. Where are you, turkey? Grab drive out of commission. There's them. Oh, look at you guys. They're so sad. Their grab drive. What kind of ship are you? Oh, I just ran into him. I was really curious. I wanted to see about. Can I get the parts? What do they got for parts? Beryllium. And the bounty hunter captain. I was thinking it might be able to get me a ship, but. Lithium, austenitic manifold ship parts. Hey now. There we go. What's it say for wanted? Oh, it doesn't say that. Does it have to go to note? Wanted. To all soldiers of fortune, I want colors fade dead. A large sum of credits will be added to your account upon confirmation of the kill. To add to the game, this number will increase by a set amount every week. I know what you're thinking. The longer you wait, the higher the bounty. But ask yourself, will the next hunter be as patient as you? Bunny. Okay, well. Wow. Those two fools are dealt with. Scan the planet. This has aluminum and iron on it. And it's not a extreme environment. Seems to suggest that we could build on there. We have iron, nickel, Good and to go aluminum. For no, we have yeah. We have aluminum and nickel. We don't have any iron yet. We are going to remake this ship very, very soon. <laughs> Into the daybreak. The video for doing that is on my channel, of course. You've got something for me? I don't have anything for you. What I have here is a curious need for a bed. 
local time, man. Uh, Come on, there are worlds to conquer, and we will conquer them. Atmospherics here are no good. We will need suits. Hi. Please disregard. I attempted an informal greeting, but I am dissatisfied with the results. You're fine, Bosco. There's a ship over there. Actually, do we have... We're at 158? Oh, we're crying out loud. Let's get rid of some stuff. Resources. Let's go to our inventory. Go to resources and give those to the ship. Go to apparel. Give that to the ship. Give extra helmets to the ship. Give extra spacesuits to the ship. Extra pack. The Demos pack. Extra weapons. A drum beat. Instigating Ripshank. Coachman, Rattler, Regulator, what else? A refined maelstrom. I have this maelstrom, rare, it does 28 damage, and this one's refined. Oh, but that's single shot. And then I have a tombstone. How much ammo do I have for the tombstone? 1800. We're probably good to leave this one behind then. A pro Beowulf. I don't know if we. Let's see. That's our semi automatic maelstrom. Calibrated Pacifier, Ash the Tamer, the Urban Eagle, which is a smackdown, and this thing, which has a fire rate of 160 and does 10 physical damage, so it's going to be 1600 in a round. I don't know what it's DPS, though, because of 160 fire. This is a fire rate of 150 and has 40. Yeah, we should get rid of the drum beat then. All right, we're at 105. That's good enough for now. Every video, video game in the history of video games that I have played, you can press tab or escape to get away from the menu, but not here. It just keeps taking you back and back and back and back. You have to learn to hold the escape or the tab to get out of the menu altogether, and my brain just can't do it yet. And maybe never will be able to. One of four. Oh, there's some iron. And more iron and some beryllium and there's probably iron on the ground here over here. Is that what that is? Oh, it's beryllium. Oh. You want to plant some beryllium right there? We might as well grab this stuff over here. It's a Starfield Sunday. I have made the executive decision to move all of these to Sundays. We need room for cyberpunk on Saturdays. There's just not enough days in the week. And I don't have enough hours. Oh, hey, it's you. And here I thought you were some pirate coming back to kill me lucky me right hold still let me pat you up buddy nah nah I'll, I'll be all right just you know wasn't trying to move around too much with all the painkillers and nausea meds running through me it would seem prudent to accept any and all help offered to you right now man I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. Trust me. Yeah, I'm starting to see that. He tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, This kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these pearly whites? 
He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. Barrett reached for one of their guns. And he shot someone he shouldn't have. Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console. And dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. <sighs> I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was. Smiling like it was just another day on the job. You missed the fun part, Heller. <laughs> I mean... I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Then he did the little finger gun thing. Skip to the end, Heller. Oh, yeah. Probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? So, I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said, it's okay, I got this. He mumbled something to him, and then they were all gone. Yeah. The Crimson Fleet has him again. I was drifting in and out, but yeah, I think so. Got a signal from the ship before they grab jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. Haven't really been in a good <coughs> space to have a listen. Here you go. Hey, uh, uh, I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else is coming. Smart idea get you on your feet first yeah just uh don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while Ugh, give me a minute i think the worst of it is yeah i'll be all right i'll be all right ready to wisecrack with the best of them let me know when you want to head out so here's heller and then we can recruit him as a crew member Heller. Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. Like I'd leave you behind. Yeah, let's get going. Phew. Oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. For a second there, I thought you were gonna leave me behind. What's on the agenda today? The agenda is to send you to the Star Eagle. For now, you've reached the maximum number of crew, so Heller's unassigned... Andrej is on, Lynn's on the ship. I need to get, I need to build an outpost, don't we? We have to build an outpost so that we can get them put, okay. You got it. Catch you on the flip side, boss. All right, so Thanks did, for I, letting me tag along. did I not build an outpost? Oh, I must not have. Okay, I thought I built one, but I haven't. So, let's get back to the ship then. Back to the ship. Oh my. So we need to build an outpost. I have something for you when you've got a sec. Everybody is always trying to give you something. They can't just give Lifting it to you. Lifting off now. Well, we need an outpost, and the reason we need an outpost is so that we can build a very huge ship landing pad. And mm, edit this ship. Up here, doesn't it? All right, my friend. In that case... Let's figure out where we're going to do this ship building. I said that there was nickel and aluminum together on Monterra Luna in the Cheyenne system. So if we go there, I've built several outposts in the Cheyenne system before. Some of them on 
Aquila itself isn't too bad. It has aluminum and nickel, and sometimes you can get those together. Like right here. So this is going to be your aluminum. This is going to be your nickel. There may be a spot right here. Theoretically, there should be a spot there. Landing site locked. Take us in. Because the nice thing about Aquila is it's a non-extreme environment, so... I hear creatures. It's an elk crane gun. Okay. Well, right there we have aluminum. So if you hold out your thing here, it'll tell you. You got aluminum. And then we don't know where the rest of it is. There may or may not be nickel nearby. And the only way to really do it is... You can take this thing and send it out as far as you can send it. And if there's nickel within its sphere, it'll show up in the upper left as an available resource. Otherwise, you just gotta go around and look. I'm not seeing yet. And you can only move this thing so far off into the distance. And then the other problem is... It used to make the game crash, or it could make the game crash if you pushed it, pushed it far enough. Somewhere. As, see, it can only go so far. And so far I'm not finding any nickel, so we need to wander around. I guess what I could do is set this extractor here kind of toward the edge. That's the nickel extractor. There's tungsten, aluminum, and iron is what it takes. I never have the patience for construction. Let's build one of those. Is much easier and often more fun. Shotgun in the ash duck. I like this, there's a lot of light here. Any more Ashton? Watch my back there, sister. A lot of moonlight here. So let's see if we can build a building. I like to usually just start with the four wall hab. I hate the way the game handles rotation. I don't know why they didn't use the exact same system that we had in Fallout 4. And I wish more buildings had this part. Which is where you can press E to ground it. And then. Drag it up before you permanently plant it somewhere. Don't get in the way Andresia. Uh, what you do you notice how you lose the stairs.
This this part of the game needs so much work. Okay, but at least we got those in there. All right, now we still have to power that. I'm not worried about that yet. Because what we really want to build is a desk. Now, what you need to do is go into your settings because it seems like it's different for every game. Go into your controls. Outpost item rotation speed and move it all the way down. It's the only way you're ever going to get anything to look good in here. Now we need to go to... Crew station. You just kind of want to set it right here in the front. Okay. Allows you to station a crew here. Then if we go back, what we'd really like to build... I, I like to give them beds. So that they don't, you know... But this is... Oh yeah, there's fiber. Yeah, I like to give them a couple of beds. We're going to build them a more elaborate outpost later, but... Trying to get things exactly parallel. Good luck with that. The Lynn and Heller can have their beds. Okay. Now you should be able to go to your ship and your crew and say Heller assigned to Aquila Nickel Cobalt. And Lynn signed to Aquila Nickel Cobalt. And then Samco, you can either assign to your ship. Can I sign him to my ship now? I think I can, yes. Good. Okay. So they're here with that. Now we're going to want one other thing here. Not the gun. What we really need is an industrial workbench. And you can see it's not quite even. There we go. Let's put it right. Make room for some other stuff. Okay, because we'll need this for adaptive frames. I don't know how many adaptive frames we have. These cost aluminum and iron. Let's go outside and see what it takes to build this thing. We don't have to do it outside, actually. Oh, there it is. The ship landing pad with ship builder. We need more iron. Oh, bummer. Okay. Well, that's too bad. We gotta go find a planet with iron on it then. Okay. We need iron. Well, we should set up the nickel then. So on a planet like this... What we should do, well... These are what? Nickel added. Make sure to grab that. We need to set up some power for this bad old boy. Let's see, there's plenty of nickel in this field. Plenty, 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 plenty. Okay. And then there's nothing right here. The right of this. Okay. I'd love to be able to line everything up. I wish they'd have given us building pads, but they won't, so. What we need is some power. A solar array on this planet will produce six power. A wind turbine will produce ten. Great. Let's do that then. A well-built outpost can mean the difference between life and death. Okay, so let's take this. Activate the menu. Give us a wire. And send it over to here. Now, we need that thing. To send its goods to... Someplace. Let's see how we want to line this up. This is always the hard part. We want a solid storage container. We're going to go overhead and try to build this in such a way that it is going to be able to create a straight line. But we have a lot of forest here.
Yeah, okay. What about there? How many, what do we need to build it? Iron? We need six iron, okay. We're gonna take this thing over here. And we're gonna put an output link to here. By creating an output link from the extractor and nickel, everything it produces will be automatically sent to the storage solid. Output links are useful. Yes, they are. There's even better stuff coming. Okay, well... That gets this place started. Where's our ship? It's over there. Sorry, you can see them walking over here. That's cool. So we gotta go find iron. Iron. Time to greet the stars. <laughs> We're in orbit, Captain. Okay, so there's a pretty easy place to get iron from nearby. And it is Kodos. Kodos has tons of iron. It also has, uh, you know, turn the planet like this. It also has aluminum. Now, you're not going to get lucky and find it anywhere close together. There's chlorine and iron right there, but you're not going to find it anywhere close to the aluminum, which is what color here? Green, the dark green. This is when it's nice to have an extra layer of scanning. Because it'll help you find some of these places where things are mushed together. Like where, like here is the aluminum. But there's nowhere, you're not going to find any of it close together. Do we have a point to spend maybe? What do we have? We got one skill point. Geology. Astrodynamics, medicine, surveying. That's the hand scanner and scanning. Spend one point in science to unlock advanced science skills. We're not even close to that. You can detect uncommon inorganic resources on the planet and moon surfaces and more information about ships in space. Rank two, you can detect rare inorganic resources. Hmm. Okay. I don't think that's going to happen. So what we should probably do here is just build some iron an iron outpost somewhere there's chlorine there's a ton of aluminum there we can build a separate aluminum outpost like down here there's a little bit of iron there's chlorine and what water yeah, we're not going to find any close together, are we? You're going to find some next to chlorine, but you're not going to find any next to aluminum. That's sad. Alright, let's just pick this. What's this spot here? This is mountains, which we like. Let's go there. Gear looks green, ready to land. I don't mind building a bunch of different outposts. It's really nice if you can get resources clumped together, but I really only want to build a few just so I can get the basic resources. Every world with living things is a treasure. So there's, oh, there's alkanes here. Wow, we walked right out onto that. Okay. So we put this in the ground here, we can get iron and alkanes. Let's see where the iron is actually located at. Because we would like it to be someone close by. And there's plenty of open space here without trees. So this is the kind of place that we want to actually build our shipbuilder location at.
There's some iron there, but it's static. Those guys landed and took off quick. You know what that means? It means they dropped some ecli ecliptic and then they're running. Oh, there is a whole lot of stuff going on here, isn't there? Gonna be a lot of dead creatures when we're done. We can scan them all. I'm seeing the alkanes. I'm not seeing the iron yet. Other than the static stuff, which we don't care about. Because you can't mine that. The game really encourages you to build a, another scanner device. What do we have there? We have some more alkanes down there. Wrapped up against that wall. Where is the iron? That is more alkanes. Wow, there's a ton. Oh, and we can't build an outpost here because we're too close to that location, probably. What are you? Are you going to bark at me? Might as well grab that aluminum here. Here we go. This is the iron. Okay. Oh, and there's alkanes right next to it. Oh, holy cow. Okay, they just made our job easy. Let's go right here. Yep, transfer container will let you move stuff between. So, yeah, let's take this one. What, what is the symbol here? Beryllium alkanes is HNCN. Okay, well, I'm going to do ALK then. <laughs> Iron is FE, but I'm going to do ALK for the alkanes. So let's do this. Kodos outpost. Kodos. For the Iron alkanes. And then let's get things built here. Iron, baby. I need an iron extractor. Yep. Now, on this planet, it's going to produce six wind instead of ten like on the other planet, and the solar array is going to produce six. So the difference is in what you want to use to build. This will build with cobalt and copper. This, we have plenty of nickel. We can actually make a couple of these. A solar array, we can only build one. Let's build the wind turbine then. I need you. Fire it up, buddy. Okay, so that'll start producing iron. Alkanes. Hmm. I don't know that we actually need those for anything. I mean, I'm sure we do, but it's like not high on my prioritization list. What are you guys doing, horn facers? Oh, all kinds of acid. What the hell? How come I can't move? I can't move. I can't turn left or right. What the hell? What the hell? I can't get out of here? I'm stuck. I'm literally stuck. Okay. That was awful. 
Bethesda to the rescue. Holy crap. That was not good. Okay, so out here we have plenty of room to build. Let's see what it's going to cost us now. We just need iron, right? Can we build a couple more of these then? It's a, these things fill up pretty fast. We need to build the structure for it. So let's build the structure to capture it. Storage container. We need how much of this? Oh, we need some extra iron from that. I'll take the iron you have there. What? No, I have to wait for you to build some more. It was counting that. It was actually counting that. Okay. Well, in that case, we'll survey a couple of things while we're waiting for you to dig up some more of that. I think it just produced one. And a bug. I swallowed a bug. There we go. Now do it. Well. If I could get the right thing here. Okay. Where do we want to do it? with these guys. Let's, I don't know. Hmm. I don't want to stack them. Let's stick it like that. I need you. Output link. There it goes. Okay. Well, those are going to produce. And then over here, we should be able to build the big bad boy. Right there. How much do I need? I need a bunch of iron. Well. Why don't we try to go find some iron then? got to be some on this rock like right over there so what occurs to me while andresia and i are running around here trying to fetch some more iron from the static points that there is a cave over here an occupied cave it says hmm so what we're gonna do is stuff a little bit of our stuff in here i'm gonna go to our inventory and we can stuff all of our aluminum in there Remember, it's just a solid storage. So we can put that in there. And it'll tell you how full it is. It's 42% full. We're good. We're going to go play with this cave. 220 meters away. So while our... Pump is sitting there mining ore... Out of the ground. Let's go see what's going on over here. Might as well kill some time. And we can grab a few more pieces along the way. That's great. Occupied cave. This rifle has a really big magazine, doesn't it? Occupied cave. Occupied by who? Ecliptic? Pirates? Who's here? I don't see any hints as to who it might be. Oh, but there's a cred stick. We'll take that. Well, let's see who it is. Let's see if anybody's home. Oh, it's a hunting bone show. I'm getting the sense that the cave was not occupied by people. That one went goodbye. 
Oh, there are people here, but they're dead. They're miners. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. Yeah, they were mining here, thinking they were going to make their fortune. Or at least make a living. Apparently it didn't work out for them, though. Deeper inside the cave, I wonder. Whoa. Okay. The people that appear to be all gone will take their zero wire, though. Stim. Suppressed movement and a squall that does damage and movement speed. That's actually kind of nice. Fish worker wetware. I'm guessing that's just as ugly as everything else in the game. Cutters. And then that goes down. Hmm. That goes way down. Before we get wrapped up in going down there. Whoa. I don't want to do that. I want to go back to the main area over here. The gravity is very low here. <laughs> cow credits and ship repair fundamentals cyberware streetwear what does that look like cyberware streetwear it looks like garbage it looks like someone's pajamas a soil box Toast? Med pack? Hmm. Where are the rest of you guys, though? I've only seen one of you. Light particle fuse, a bunch of med packs that never got used because these guys just died. NASA lab uniform? Carrier of the cosmos. Let's take a rest for a minute. I'm not sure that I have an experience bonus. I was beginning bonus. to wonder if you hibernate. We might as well grab one. So that's the interior that that's leads outside. So we came in here. There's nowhere else to go, is there? Except for here, which we didn't go. There's down. There was up and there was down. So this is the down section. I'm getting, I'm guessing this is where we'll come out if we go up there. Okay. Well, let's go all the way up then. And work our way out. I'm not sure which way we're supposed to go here. But it doesn't really matter. I'm guessing that going down through here is going to be easier than trying to come up and out this way. So over here, they had this. And on the next level down, there was a card. Oh, what do we have? What do we got? A miner. Oh, there's some miners down there. Where was that thing that I was looking at, though? There's an enemy of so. Oh, it's that thing. K. 
give me the good gun. I know what I need. I need this. I needed a few more bullets. Grenade out! Incoming! I think she just blew herself up. There we go. That's what I wanted. This thing, it won't do it every time. It's It has a chance, it says. I think is how it's phrased. It has a chance to make the targets light up, which is actually really cool. Okay. Maple Cola weapon case. Uh, junk. Junk weapons. Med packs, though. I'll take those. Especially after what I just went through. Those little critters trying to paralyze me or something. They look like something from Elden Ring. Remember, though, there's those horrible frogs in Elden Ring that will paralyze you. Those are no good. We got a Hauler's Calibrated Ground Crew Pack. Chameleon. And it's got Chameleon. Oh, my gosh. Okay. This one. Yeah, it's better in energy weapons. Blend in with the environment while sneaking and not moving. Resources weigh 25% less. That's built for us. Oh, my gosh. I didn't save the game there. We're not going to lose that. Weapons. Ammo. Not that it did these poor jerks a lot of good. Best Alien not to leave jerky. anything useful behind. Yeah, I know. These poor folk. Okay, where were the rest of them? They were up here. There we go. Uranium. I can keep the cutter. Give me this thing. very quick with those grenades and more uranium what else is down here anything and then this kind of moves around down underneath here doesn't it okay I don't think we're missing anything don't want to miss any of the potential loot if there is any there's this person who died falling underneath that. Bunch of stuff fell right on him. Oh, poor. Oh, you poor lady. What do we have here? Aluminum. And then what's this? Nickel? Nope, it's iron. And that's beryllium. There we go. And this is what we saw because there were these two holes that were like eyes. Well, it says it was an occupied cave, but uh, it was an occupied cave that went badly for some people. Feel bad for him. We got here too late to help them. So what else is nearby that could be? They got some alkanes right here in their camp. We have some if we want to just grab them. Alkanes, your suit's protection is depleted. You are taking environmental damage. The way that they did suit protection in this game is just weird. Anything off in that direction we can investigate? Bunch of H2O over here. Why does the spring water look like a giant dinosaur took a dump? Maybe we'll listen to Barrett's transmission here. You 
They've given their fleet a lot of trouble, Barrett. Hey, since when is surviving being attacked causing trouble? Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot, could you move your arm a little bit to the left? I can't make out the console. Don't move! He's trying to figure out our destination. Probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit. Well, yeah. Thought I was making that pretty obvious. Okay, okay, put the gun down. I'm done. See? My retinas are pointing away from the console and towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Time up. Once we get back Power. to the base, the fun starts. So Barrett gave us a signal and now we can go find him. You guys, you're ugly. He has sealant though, vital fluids. Mm. All right, all your stuff should be going over here. It was 40 some percent full last time. How much is it now? It's got 27 iron. So. Let's see, where do we want to build this thing? Off in this direction? Toward the ship. If and when we can build it. I'm missing... We have the necessary brilliant. Can it be placed overlapping player? We have the necessary stuff though. We can put it right there. Now here's the problem. Is how tall it's gonna be. So because the stairs have guardrails, you really want to get it in a position where it lands exactly like that. Boy, I've never I have yet to have one land like that. Because what you usually get is the angled ones go down here and then you end up having to hop over one of these bars to get in here. This is perfect though. Oh my gosh. This is literally perfect. I've not had a perfect placement in the game yet. That's amazing. Okay. Let's save it then. Well, hell, if you've watched this before, then you know how I'm going to do this. Oh my gosh. Let's have a good time, shall we? <laughs> oh my gosh. So what? It's got the... That's the Stroud Eklund Workshop. That's the Stroud Living Quarters. We have... We changed it. There's this thing. The control station. Okay. It's all these components. Um, let's just start from scratch then, shall we? We're going to spend the rest of this episode putting this thing together. We're going to build the crescent. And I take that back. It's not the crescent. The crescent is the ship that I built. It's the bigger version of this. We're going to build the daybreak. So let's just make this really easy and nuke the whole thing and start over. So what we're going to do is start with the habitats. And basically we're looking for the habitats that we already used. We also, let's actually make it really easy and start with the cockpit that we had first. You can see it with the plus sign. So there's the nice cockpit. Now on the back of the cock. Yes. We need to do this. We need the Stroud Eklund stuff. Stroud! Okay. Yeah, the all-in-one berth is two, and that is too long. So we just need either a companionway or a storeroom. I'm going to grab the companionway. Now, on this side, Stroud 2-in-1 stuff that we had. There's an all-in-one berth I definitely want. That What do we got for max crew right now? It doesn't say. Okay. Living quarters, infirmary, I don't care about. There was the control station, though. What is this crew stations for? But hold on. This has crew stations for as well, so we don't need to add anything with crew stations. What I'd really like is an all-in-one berth, except... Well, yeah, let's leave that one there on the left side this time. I'm going to build it slightly differently, I think. Because I can. So... <laughs> the Stroud all-in-one berth, and what else do we want? We know we want a workshop, but we're going to put it 
in a little different position here. We could do living quarters like this. Let's take the living quarters and move it like that. What else do we really, really need? There are captain's quarters. We need a workshop. We need the Stroud workshop. So right here. Let's do a Stroud companionway. And another Stroud companionway. And so then what do you want to build? We're going to build. Let's build the workshop over there. And then over in this direction, what do we want to build? Hmm. Living quarters? Yeah, that sounds fun. So what did we have? What's this? Oh, that is living quarters. We got living quarters and all in one berth. We don't need a science lab. Don't really need an infirmary. You can do the captain's quarters or the armory. The armory is something I just don't use a lot. And I still have fear even with the patch. <laughs> even though the Stroud one doesn't have. Let's just do Captain's Quarters then. That'll be fun. Okay, let's go over to Structural. There's that. That gets us that. Now we need engines on the back. Okay, here's where it's going to get fun. Let's go for engines. We need this. We need it to be rotated like that. Actually, you know what? Square might be better. Let's do square with the big fat engine on the outside. Like that. That's very nice. Okay. Now we're going to need the reactor. Which one were we using? This one, the Tokomac 3000 reactor. We can put it on there even though it requires Starship Design 6 because technically we're not removing it. So that's great. And that means that we need to put the docker here. The docker, that one right there. We can technically put a shield right here. Which one did we have? We had that one? Great. You can put it anywhere. I kind of want to put it right there. It looks a little better right there. Okay, we got back to structural. Portal covers. Great. Now let's do the other fun structural stuff. This thing. Like that. Oh, they have it reversed. Okay, hold on. Yeah, you have it reversed because you got to do it there. Right, like that. And then right there. There we go. New. Over here, buddy. And then on the inside, you reverse it. That looks cool. Okay. Many, 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 many fun just structural parts. Lots of the demo stuff. This calls for the Demo Spine. <laughs> There's that. And then on the very back of the engine, which is why we wanted to do the square ones, we can do that. The Demo Spine F, we turn it around so it mates up at the end nicely like that and then on this another demos spine b because right here on the back side we'll go with the demos tail this just makes the thing look really cool okay now 
for the underside. Let's get in here and get ourselves a a bay. That one right there. There's demos parts that go underneath here that we don't have access to yet, I don't think. They're structural. Oh no, they're right there. Great. Okay. Demos. The skeg, although I have to move you a little bit, don't I? There we go. Now, landing gear, which we don't have access to the Demos landing gear here, which is really sad. We'll have to go to Demos and get it. But for now, we'll do these cheap replacement parts. Like that. And then in the middle. Let's see. What else do we have to do here? I think what I want to do is right here on the back side, I want to go with the engines. Like that. That looks cool. Because we're going to need some room for cargo. We need our room for our grab drive right here. Which grab drive did the ship have on it? It had just this one. Okay. Cool. So then we should be able to put the demo skeg here from structural. Right there. And when we get the regular demo landing gear and thrusters on there, it'll look so much better. Yep. Now. So Demos makes a part that kind of looks like this. Not quite. I think these are better looking. But it does make a cargo piece that's kind of slanted like this that you can put in here. We'll probably go do that because then what you can do is you can mount the bigger fuel tanks right underneath here. So if we were to go to fuel, this is all we can really do is mount those. Otherwise, for right now, we have to put cargo in there. The cargos we had were those. And it's probably better to mount them like that. That gives us 2200 cargo, which is great. We still have a mobility of 99, which is really nice. We just don't have any fuel. So what you can do here is... You can go put the nut sacks on them. I'm not a fan of doing that, but uh, there's not much else you can do, so... It's the only part that I really don't like about the design. And now we have to do weapons. So weapon mount. What did we have on this thing? Those are the missile launchers. Here's the pulse lasers. Great. Want that. Pulse laser. Underneath, we might as well put the depressions ones back under the really fancy expensive ones. And then... Oh, and then we still need to put the wings on. Let's do this. Back to structural. Like that. Like that. And then this last wing piece. You can do this one. Turn it around. Looks really slick. Really like the way that all ties it together. It just looks fantastic. I do like that uh, that other one that's got the rib ribbing in there, but you can't mount a rocket. And right now we have to live with rockets. We have to live with these missile launchers. Okay, so... Error says weapons. We're going to go for the pulse lasers first, the missile launcher second, the suppressor last, and now it's going to say, oh, guess what? Your ship is ready to go. <laughs> Look at that thing. It doesn't take long to put together, and it's just awesome. It's got a 931 hull, a 760 shield, max crew of four, mobility of 90. 
Nice. And that is very nice looking. We just have to go change the landing gear out. I'm not going to paint it. I'm going to leave it like this because I kind of like those colors. So for now, I I've painted it in other situations, but this always looks really cool to me. We're going to go like this. And you can see up there in the... It's hard to see now because it's blotted out, but it's 20,610 credits is all it took for us to mod modify this. And now we need to go get the, the demos landing. Who needs landing star here. yards when I have you around? So look at this thing. I mean, it's awesome. Let's go put the demos landing gear on it, though. The star eagle. And the reason this is so great to do is because it automatically comes with really good weaponry on it and a good reactor and a good grab drive. So because it does, you can easily put this thing together. We've oh, this is great. She looks so nice sitting there. We got some beds right here. You can see outside between the wing and the cockpit. We're going to have all of our crafting stuff right there. And then over on the other side right here. Again, you can see outside. We got living quarters right here for everybody. Hey. And she wants to talk. Ron Hope was a real piece of work, wasn't he? Ron Hope was a piece of work, yes. A despicable person. Despicable is too kind a word. He held innocent people with little regard, treating their lives like numbers on a balance sheet. It's an absolute disgrace. You will not get any disagreement from me, sister. <sighs> I'm relieved to hear you say that. Letting him off the hook would have been a terrible injustice. Yeah. Taking a bribe to overlook his crimes would have been a horrible thing to do. Had you taken the money, this would have been a very different conversation. I'm proud of you. It took a lot of integrity to say no to that offer. Yes, Mommy. If I've learned anything from this, it's that money isn't everything. No, it certainly isn't. Especially when it comes at the expense of human lives. Well, I think I've lectured you enough. Thanks for taking the time to listen to me. I think you have lectured me enough, too. And now we get the captain's quarters, which is also really nice. So this rocks. I mean, you can put whatever habitats you want in here. I just think it's fantastic. Let's Dad, fire her do you off. Think Solomon Co. Would have get a really me. good look at her as sure. she takes off and then go get the demos <laughs> landing gear on it. And then we can call it do an you episode. Think he would have liked you? Well, if you listen to your grandpa, Solomon Co. would have given me a good woof. Lifting off now. <laughs> but I think he would have liked the man I grew into. Because those big, huge landing gear and thrusters are ugly. And the demos ones are fantastic. And I don't know why you don't get access to the demos ones at your custom shipyard, at your outpost shipyard, when you have your access to everything else. Let's go get these people. Oh, you didn't like that, did you? Yeah. There's no way you can win this! Oh, yes, there is. I have an awesome ship, and you're about dead. Let's do this! Bye-bye. Where are the others? They're dead too. Okay. Well then, where's my enemies here? Right there, aluminum and a seminal wafer. Crimson Fleet Ghost. This ship is so badass. Come on, this thing just looks awesome. targeting in this game worked a little better. There's a free star collected person there and there. I don't think there's anything else for us to grab. There's not. Okay, so we have maximum amount of missiles and lasers. We can put the rest in the engines. Our shields are maxed out. Put two into the grab drive and let's go to Demos, which is in the solar system. And it is right there.
Fantastic. We have it. We have the daybreak. And later on, we can put some even more powerful weapons on there. What I have really found that works really well is to take the missiles off and put neutron beams on there because they do the same amount well, of hull and shield you didn't damage. Put us into a planet, so we must be in the right place. She's got right now, right now, she's got a max speed of 150. I mean, it's just this thing is. It's such a nice ship to turn the Star Eagle into. And then the cool thing is, we will take the Manta ship when we get it and turn that into the Crescent, which is the bigger version of this ship. And that thing then becomes Most beastly. Certainly bound itself to the UC military. And it's so Hope awesome that having that Manta ship and remaking it because having people change their IFF signals Demos to try to be friendly UC with you because they're afraid of you. It's so much fun. Together. If one fails, the other does. I might not mind seeing that. What do we have here? A civilian in my star yard. I'm a better ship builder than you are. itself on being the UC's first and last line of defense in space. But we're more than happy to protect and arm bold entrepreneurs that do their business among the stars. Well, I'm glad you have time for a civvies then. Anyone that flies in space earns my respect. Heck, an independent may be even braver. You don't have a fleet at your back when the Crimson Fleet comes calling. So, let's see about getting you a proper ship. One worthy of you. I have a proper ship. I need to modify it. Of course. So I will show you this cargo stuff after we change this. Let's go in here and get rid of those. Now remember, it only cost us just over 20,000 credits to make this change from the original Star Eagle. We're going to go in here and grab the gear. And it's this demo stuff. And it's just so nice because it lines up so well. I love it. It looks so good. It's actually one of the only things I don't like about the Crescent that I made is that I can't use that demo's gear. It just looks so great. That is a nice line. But back here, if you want to, if you want to take the balls off the back of it. There's 2280 for cargo right now. We were to delete these and delete these things. Now you can go in here and you can get this Demos cargo. Oh, it's the hauler cargo cold, but we got to have Starship rank one to do it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Well then, we don't have that. So we'll put her back the way she was. We'll do these. I wish that those particular cargo holds looked exactly like those, but they don't, so. Since they don't, we'll just make them work. All right, there we go. So for an extra almost 3,000 credits, we get that landing gear and our ship is complete. And it's mobility gets knocked down to 88 from 91, I think it was. So that's why I think having this smaller, the smaller Demos cargos that are aesthetically pleasing and then put the fuel tanks right here and get these fuel tanks off the back and it all works out really nice. And then you can just gradually upgrade to a B-class reactor if you want. B-class reactor, B-class grab drive. Give your ship some more hull in the process. When you get serious about your spacecraft, come back to Deimos. Well, I will come Welcome to Deimos because you guys have the best cosmetic parts. I wish Deimos parts. was exclusively a military contractor. Stroud Eklund has the habs that I like as far as the exterior of the way they look. Deimos has the best cosmetic parts for making ships that I like to make. Mostly because I got these fins and wings and all this stuff. It's really cool. Alright. So folks, probably going to be an extended episode this time, but... All green on release. We're free to fly. But we're off. 
There she is. Just walking down the street. Look at that thing. The daybreak. He is a wonder. Oh my gosh, she looks so good. That is a great looking ship. All right, what kind of trouble can we get into for next episode? We need to go see our buddy, don't we? Return to Imogene, Ebside Strikers, but the main quest was what? We need to go see Barrett. Talk to Vladimir, back to Vectera. Travel to Bessel. Okay, there we go. Let's set our course. Everyone. I hope you have enjoyed this episode as much as I have enjoyed playing it. Made that drive, right? Oh, we're gonna get a little, we're here. a little uh, ecliptic action. Destroy the ecliptic ship. Okay, I can do that. Where are you, punk? Target's jump system down. What are you? Thank you, whoever you are. Now, if you could come talk with. What's up? Did you change me? Is she. Yep. What do we do now? For starters, how about turning off that cam? What is going on here? I have no idea. I have not encountered this before in my other playthroughs, so... Folks, we're gonna find out. Solid docking job there. But we're gonna find nice out work. at the end of the next episode? No, let's, let's drag this on. Let's see what's going on. I'm not going near that thing. Technically, I outrank you, so... Technically, you're an asshole, so... Look alive. Just in time. What the hell's going on, boys? Ryujin operatives? Oh. Okay. Well, guess what, folks? We'll take care of this one next episode. It's pretty fascinating. We ran into something here. Cool. Alright, everybody. Thanks for watching. You know the drill as usual. Leave questions, comments down below. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video, all that jazz. I'll see you next time. Until then, happy gaming, everyone.